uh, compare with the living room or uh, bedroom has uh, more complex objects so I am going to focus on the objects more compared with the actually two other previous tutorials the first thing I will start to creating is sink bathroom sink I have searched uh, some picture for the reference and if you have watched my previous tutorials you already found that I do not create one model and just collect several models and from each one I will create some part to uh, because my main goal is not creating just one thing or one model is to show some techniques so we will create something between these three models I will not use this table bathroom table and I will use this kind of the table but my uh, actual uh, facet uh, maybe be like almost similar to this one and uh, okay let's uh, start I just uh, create something by Photoshop uh, to found out the size this is the size of the sink this is actually a centimeter and if you are not familiar with the centimeter and you want to use the inches you can go to the online conversion website and just uh, here you can convert any measurement so back to the max and start it I will start and create one cylinder the height is not important I and I don't want any height segment so I make it one press J because I don't want to see this border here and press F4 and also I don't want to see grid so press G to hide it make it at the center right click on the spinners to be sure it is at the zero origin of the max view so I will create a plan the plan is just my guide the plan should be this size 50.5 to 43 43 and uh, sorry 43 and 50.5 is it 50 yes 50.5 and put it at the origin zero position so I will uh, select my cylinder which is actually my sink right click convert it to editable poly select it vertices and arrange it to the shape of the actually the size of the plan so we already created and I don't need the bottom part so I will delete it select the middle part and insert it first insert it as much as you want not as much actually because here we have the size the size is that uh, 10 centimeter totally is 10 centimeter less so 5 I, I need to insert it 5 centimeter so I will insert it 5 centimeter and hit the OK but as you can see in the picture here should be changed so how I should change it I will come back here and change the size of this 25.5 and 40.5 and 
is it 20 or 25 I just check it again 25.5 okay as the edges is right so just move it to the front because here is already five centimeters so I need to move these vertices here first I will select all of them I use the scale to make them in the okay so, so first do this part and move them front and then this part keep them there don't move it then move these edges front again to make a round shape here okay and to make sure that this part okay almost is right Just to make sure this part, the size is the exact, I will change it again to 43. 43. Mm, is it 43? Yes, 43. And move it to here. And yes, it should come a little bit more. Something like this. But I won't change it now because in the future we will again need to change it. So I need to delete my reference plan. I don't need it anymore. So I already create my base part. So continue. Select the center part. Extrude it down. Minus. First minus 0.1. It's so a small actual value. Maybe I don't. Uh, do this way and just scale it down minus 10 okay and then you can use the scale the other way was actually you could use the bevel the same move it to here Okay, this is what we have been created until now. If need a little bit more scale. Well. Then, select the edges, 